India, a 5,000-year-old civilization and the largest democracy in rediscovering itself as a young and vibrant economy. In the last one and a half decades, the nation of more than one billion people has emerged as a globally preferred business destination. A rapidly liberalized policy environment has converted the Indian industry into a powerhouse of global competitiveness. A large pool of knowledge workforce, comprehensive capabilities in IT and electronics, abundant availability of raw materials and a mammoth market potential is what makes India unique. No wonder India has emerged as the second fastest growing economy in the world. And fueling this industrial growth is the automotive industry of India. One of the largest manufacturing industries. The automotive industry saw an annual turnover of 37 billion US dollars in the year 2005, riding on an annual growth of around 20%. India's contribution to the international market too has been worth 4 billion dollars in year 2005. Worldwide automobile manufacturers are turning to India and reaping rich strategic advantages. The 12 billion US dollar investment and a production capacity of 9.5 million vehicles are both set to double by year 2010. Over 14 million individuals across the nation are employed directly and indirectly in the automotive sector. With its increasing global competitiveness, the nation is on a roll and so is its auto sector. Vehicles and components is one such sector where India is already achieving preeminence and in the coming decade I have every reason to believe that the Indian vehicle would put India as amongst the top countries in the world. This fascinating growth spurt has encouraged the government of India to support and enhance the automotive industry's capabilities. The progressive auto policy of the government exhorts India to become a global hub for automotive manufacturing. The industry and the government are working together to implement this vision. National Automotive Testing and R&D Infrastructure Project, NATRI, is a dream born out of this vision to see India as a leading force in the world automotive market. Under the National Common Minimum Program, it has been decided the Indian industry will be given every support to become productive and competent. Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises have been working to fulfill this national goal. The basic concept of NATREP is to enable the Indian automotive industry to prepare itself for much larger play on the global scene than it ever has had before. If we want to build brand India, if we want to have world-class products going out of India, we need a world-class infrastructure to support it. And that is what NATRIP is all about. Driving India into the future of global automotive excellence through state-of-the-art research and testing infrastructure, NATRIP, the National Automotive Testing and R&D Infrastructure Project. Government has indicated that the automobile industry should become globally competitive. I think setting up of NATRIP will provide a solid support to achieving that objective. NATRIP, by helping the automobile industry, will ensure that our manufacturing sector becomes more robust and contributes to creation of jobs and various other advantages that flow from it. India is known to have world-class brain power. What we have been lacking is world-class infrastructure for product development. I'm sure that with natural facilities coming up, we will leapfrog from being laggards to leaders. To comply with the rigid and forever changing international requirements and laws, the Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises researched and formulated a project that would set India rolling as the new excellence hub as far as automotive manufacturing and research and development were concerned. And so, NATRIP was born. We 
are the second largest manufacturer of two wheelers in the world today. Still, we have a long, long way to go. Our share in the global market is less than 1%. We need to enhance our global share in order to capture the emerging opportunities in the global market. NetTip is one of the biggest initiatives taken by the government in any sector till date. The idea of NetTrip was conceived in 2001 when the Development Council of Automobiles and Allied Industries entrusted the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers to prepare framework of facilities required. The blueprint prepared by CM after in-depth study was taken forward by the Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises. Finally, on the 25th of July 2005, Natrip emerged on the world horizon. A dream had finally taken shape. Natrip began its journey with an international alliance with a global consortium led by India of Spain in January 2006. Natrip is a project which reflects an outstanding partnership between the government and industry. Uh, we are working on this project for last four years together and we, uh, uh, through this project we are going to set up centers with international